Welcome again! Now that we are over the basics, we can get into more detailed stuff. Today's lesson will be about copyrights, but what about them? You should take caution about copyrights every time when using something downloaded from the internet. Main thing is to check the license or just search for free every time you google something to use. Downloading from a site that is purposely created for sharing work like Envato Elements or eBay subscription, the licenses can be easily found on the menu. There are many things to remember when using it, but most of the time, when using stuff non-commercially and unchanged, there is no reason to be scared of using it as long as you attribute the author, and that means to mention the name or link to their work. When looking for free music that you can use in your videos, you can use some royalty free sites, or just YouTube search kind of music you want with free, and look for something that somebody is able to share with you. Also, there are some channels like No Copyright Sounds. There is also a useful tool for free music and sounds called YouTube Audio Library, where YouTube tells you exactly if you can use it in your clip or not as you click on a track. You can find a lot of sound effects you can freely use in your project, and the terms of usage are done here. There are some copyrights and licenses that give you possibilities to change and distribute it, so they give you more freedom with what you can do. One of them is Creative Commons Attribution 4.0 International. As you can see here, you can share, copy and redistribute the material in any medium or format. Also adapt, so remix and transform as long as you provide information who is the original author and point out if you changed the work that you used or not. When you're going to use copyrighted music, so something that was published by a music label, for example, you need to check if it's registered on YouTube Music Policies list. Beware that this function is going to be turned off, then the only option of checking the license is googling it out or uploading the video on private and checking if it contains any copyright claims. There you go, now you should know where to search for some free content to use in your videos and how to use it without risk. See you next time!